AEW spoilers that I believe are in Dayton, Ohio tonight. They were in Columbus last night, so I believe they're in Dayton tonight. So we're going to have a live SmackDown spoilers, hopefully some ECW spoilers before we go off the air. Probably have full ECW spoilers and then a few of the SmackDown spoilers. But uh, nonetheless, we're going to have live coverage on ProWrestlingScoops.com and right here on WZR Radio. So SmackDown spoilers and ECW spoilers from Dayton coming up in just a little bit. What else, man? What else? Um, what did you do over the weekend? Anything? That's what I did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah just, just, uh, just, uh, just softball. Softball, softball. Let's, softball. Put, let's put it this way. Our, our, our first game started at 1 o'clock. And I got in my car at 11.34 at night. Wow. Wow. All day, huh? Just an all, all day. All day, dude. Oh, man. Seven oh. games total. You get some little breaks here and there. But once you start getting into the final, like, final six, then yeah. you got to play, like, either three or four games in a row. When you actually end up playing uh, three. How many innings are, what is it? Is it seven innings or nine? Seven. It, yep. it, yeah, it's seven in softball and then nine in, uh, nine in baseball. No, nine in baseball, obviously. But seven in softball. I don't know, man. Softball, see, when I was in high school back in the day, softball was like, no dudes played softball. You know what I, mean? I, I completely agree with you. It, it's funny because I was always a baseball player. Ever since I was like eight years old, baseball, baseball, baseball. And then, you know, when you get older, your, your friends start playing softball. And it literally took them a year and a half to convince me to play Softball, I'm like, you're kidding. I'm like, it's a girl sport. Why, why do I want to play a girl? I'd rather be, you know, man enough and play baseball, you know. And then yeah. eventually, you know, you, you, I, I had tendonitis on my shoulder, so I couldn't really, you know, play baseball the way that I, I should be playing. And then from there, you kind of graduate from baseball and say, all right, now oh, I'm to play the on. senior league. All right, listen, listen. This is a good excuse. This is a good excuse. He says graduate. You graduate from baseball <laughs> to the senior league. I like it. It's a good excuse. You're only 34, man. Come on, come on. To be using those excuses right now at 34 years old, I don't know, man. Don't, I the thing is, they don't have, like, they have, like, 18, and um, I think it was 18 to 40 baseball um, in Stanford, but it's like only two months, and it's only once a week, you know, so it, you don't get that full blown, and plus, you know what it is, is I love to run, you know, I'm a cardio type of guy, and, and it's just the whole idea of just playing, I mean, if you can't play baseball, I'm not going to stop playing baseball, at least, you know, I'm going to try to play something yeah. else, which of course is softball. Yeah, I wish I could run, I wish I could, but, uh, I have a bad, uh, I have one of those bad habits that, uh, Cigarettes, man. I'm trying to uh, trying to kick that habit. But see, if I were to run a mile, I'd be dead. You know, I'd be, I'd be on the ground, dude. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be able to breathe. We'll be getting the oxygen mask. <laughs> yeah, you'd be getting more than that, dude. You'd be getting a wheelchair and wheeling me back home too with an oxygen mask. You know what I mean? But um, well, yeah, well, like what Boone likes to call it two weeks ago, uh, uh, a P U S S. You can finish the rest for it. Yeah, right. Right. Tack on a Y, and you got your answer right there. No doubt. <laughs> <laughs> I heard about that, by the way. But you know what? I'll confront Boone at another time. At another time. At another time. <laughs> no doubt. Hey, uh, my weekend, man. I'll run down my weekend real quick, and then we'll get into a little bit of Monday Night Raw recap, and then a bunch of news, backstage stuff, rumors. Da 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 da. Your live phone calls, chat shout outs. It's how we yeah, do it. Judgment Day. Judgment Day, that's right. That's uh that's this Sunday. It's how we do it, man. Every Tuesday night on WZR Radio. But like I said, we're gonna change up the format here of hour number one and uh just comment on the big things that happened on Raw. You know, the entertaining segments, you know? And it hasn't been all that entertaining in the last two weeks. So we may not have too much to talk about tonight, but nonetheless we're gonna run that down. Right after, I tell you about my weekend. On uh, Friday night, went out to a um, went out to a bar, to be honest with you, and uh, it was hopping, a bunch of people there, and uh, yeah, drank uh, drank a lot of beers, had some good pizza, came home, and uh, that was Friday. Then on Saturday, I went to God, this is gonna sound so so weird to everybody, especially wrestling fans, but I went to Washington Park here in Albany. And um, it's called Tulip Fest, 
which, <laughs> whatever, whatever. I, grad- I, grad- no, 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 no. No, I graduated to Tool Fest or something like that. Should I make up an excuse or something? <laughs> but uh, no, I went to Tool Fest, and uh, basically it was a free concert in the park, and uh, they had a band. Some of you may know them by the name of Third Eye Blind, and uh, it was free, so I went and checked it out. And the problem was is, it was right near the college campus, and all these college kids were there, and they had been drinking throughout the day. And I'd, I'd say there were probably, I don't know, 20, 30,000 people jammed into a park, and it was so packed. And, uh, you know, the mayor came out and, and, and basically spoke, and everybody was kind of getting rowdy by the time Third Eye Blind came on. And, you know, they came out, performed. I mean, it was great. It was excellent. And I'm not a big, I've never been a, a huge fan of that band, but if you heard some of their songs, um, you'd know who they were. Uh, you know, and they came and they tore down the house. But these rowdy fans, I mean, by the end of that concert, there were more beer cans, pocketbooks, shoes thrown through the air where you would just stand in there with two hands over your head saying, I'm man, if one of these beer cans or one of these bottles hits me, and you walked out of there just completely, completely soaked in beer and popcorn and whatever. I mean, it just turned into this huge mosh pit with, with all the people in the front. And uh, It, it turned know. into an old school ECW event over there in Philly at the bingo hall. Yeah, yeah, you know, it was it was rowdy. I mean, everyone got so, so rowdy especially during the end of that concert. And then, if that wasn't enough, this huge black cloud came over the top, and as they were uh, doing their last song, it started to pour. I mean, a thunderstorm <laughs> that was, I, I mean, lots of rain, lots of wind, da-da-da-da-da-da, and the parking was horrible, so we were all soaked with beer, rain, popcorn, whatever else by the time we uh, got back home. And then had a bunch of people over here Saturday night watch the uh, Chad Dawson um, Antonio Tarver fight, which didn't live up to my expectations. Um, but it wasn't a bad fight. It wasn't good, but it wasn't bad either. So that's what I did. And then Sunday was Mother's Day. My uh, my mother lives down in Florida, so didn't uh, didn't do anything. Just gave her a call. And uh, Sunday was a quiet day. So that was it. What'd you do? Did you call your mom? Did you see your mom for Mother's Day? Yeah, I definitely seen her. Uh, she'll she she'll kick my ass if I don't see her. Um, literally, she'll kick my ass. But um, good. Yeah, you know, did the mom thing, did the family thing, actually. You know, uh, with my brothers and my uh, nephews and my niece, and you know, had the Spanish food going on there, which I didn't really eat a lot because again, I'm trying to trying to work out. I'm trying to you know trying to cut down on on all that fatty food, but it's just so hard when you see some rice and beans with pork chops on the side, and and, and you know, I'm getting myself hungry and I'm getting myself worked up. So maybe I shouldn't talk exactly what we ate, but. <laughs> We um we had a good time. We had a good time. It was actually good after, you know, all those games. And I wasn't even feeling pain that day. Um, that pain, unfortunately, came Monday morning. Hey, you were just talking about food and, and Spanish rice and El Vatos, whatever those, uh, whatever those Puerto Ricans, whatever you guys, I'm sure it's great, man, because usually, uh, usually that foreign food is, is really, really good, whether it's, whether it's from, from China or, or India. Sometimes India, Indian food's a little bit on the... Uh, a little spicy. Know. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're a little spicy. Yeah. Then, uh, you know, Thai food is good because Thai food is a little bit healthier um, than Japanese or Chinese food. Um, but we yeah, got, like, a Thai place that's not too far from from the house, and they actually have some really good food. Yeah, I just stick to uh, Wendy's, you know what I mean? The uh, the one dollar, the one dollar chicken, and the one dollar uh, <laughs> double cheeseburgers. But no one wants to hear about that. Whatever. Um, yeah. So that was the weekend, and uh, you know, you're injured, I'm injured, and uh, we're both still here tonight. Huh? That's right. I Nothing ain't gonna hold it, and it actually kind of works out because if not, then I would have missed most of the show. And and so, and this is actually, and the funny thing about it is, last week we, I had the rain out, so this might be a gift from God. It this is. might be telling me something. That's what I'm saying, man. It's definitely <laughs> a gift from somebody, man, because this is two weeks in a row that you uh, that you weren't supposed to be here, and we got you here anyway. So that's the good news. All right, buddy. Where um. Where do you want to go from here? Let me, uh, one more time, the live chat room, wzronline.com forward slash chat. Number to call is 724-444-7444. Call ID number is 
7-3, followed by the pound key. All right, Jose, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna leave it up to you. Where do you want to Where do you want to start off? News, call. Uh, you know what? I think we should start off with some news. I, I think most of our listeners have. I mean, we'll still go through Raw, but I think for the most part, most of our listeners have seen Raw. Um, we can certainly give our opinion and maybe follow up with a judgment day prediction. But let's talk some news. Let's talk what, what's going out there. Let's see what uh you know what the uh, mixed bag news that we uh, that we can uh, deliver. Some mixed bag news. It sounds good, man. It's it's something different, you know. We got to switch this up. We do the uh, SOS, the same old stuff every Tuesday night. You like how I did the SOS, same old stuff. Yeah, stuff. Yeah, because I didn't I didn't think you were going that direction. I thought you were going 